Good evening, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Amanda Ross, and I am here to talk to you about supporting middle school transition and long-term academic and social emotional success with a program that I have called Engaging Executive Function Skills for Success. I just use the word executive function and I feel that it's very important that I define that word for you because it's going to be important as we move forward. We all have the opportunity to have executive function skills. They are skills that are attention regulated skills that make it possible to sustain attention, keep goals and information in mind, refrain from responding immediately, resist distraction, tolerate frustration, consider the consequences of different behaviors, reflect on past experiences, and plan for the future. Executive function skills provide an important scaffold for learning and development. As I mentioned, we're not born with executive function skills, but we all have the potential to develop them. Children's executive function and self-regulation skills are engaged and growing starting at birth. Imaginary play and different types of games, such as card games, board games, or even playing peekaboo, are critical to developing executive function skills in all children and at all stages of development. So you may be asking yourself, who needs executive function skills. Why is this important? So good executive function skills are displayed in young students who are friendly with teachers and peers, who may be more likely to enjoy school, learn more easily, and feel more optimistic about their own learning potential. So this is important to students specifically. Young, because young students with poor executive function skills tend to get in their own way. They also get in the way of the rest, the learning of the rest of the class. And they do this in a way that could lead to behavior problems, suspension, expulsion, or even being held back. Research shows that the transition to middle school is difficult for many learners and it has tied this problem to underdeveloped executive function skills. So my desire is to, to talk to you about how we can change that. So the need that I see is teacher education and training to use curricular enhancements that will engage students and develop their executive function skills. The factors that are contributing to the existence of this need is the lack of teacher education dedicated to engaging students and the lack of a dedicated educational curriculum to developing these skills. And the effects on the individuals and society are that when these skills are not engaged in these specific students, it leads to behavior issues in class, it leaves you uh, poor self-esteem, and poor grades. That's the, just the initial right now. And then long-term, it's poor grades, it's lock, loss of academic opportunity, whether it's because they're at the bottom of their class, so they don't get chosen to do all of the extra pieces of education that really enhance an education, um, or if it's that they get held back a grade. Um, and also, that will all lead to a lack of success in life. So the target population for this program would be fifth grade learners who have underdeveloped executive functioning skills. And this would be, have been identified by the Behavior Rating Inventory of Executive Function, second edition. It is the gold standard of assessments to assess executive function behaviors in the school and at home. And so if we were to look at doing this in the Cleveland Municipal School District, we would um, eventually possibly be able to impact 
all 26,000 students. But initially, we would just start with the fifth graders uh, at Campus International School, which is located on the campus of Cleveland State University, and I believe is uniquely positioned to try out new teaching strategies in a way that could benefit the fifth graders at Campus International with developing their executive function skills and show the ability for such curricula types to be implemented in other schools within the system for these types of learners. So the program theory is that trained teachers would provide executive functions, executive skills training, executive function skills training to learners with underdeveloped skills. They learn those students with this training, learn to engage their executive function skills. Then they learn to utilize their newly engaged skills and eventually learners experience increased academic and social success in grades six through eight and really beyond because the research shows that executive function and success in lower grades in the ability to self-regulate is tied to uh, success in academics and success in life. So specifically, the intervention that I am looking to implement would be to augment the normal curriculum with the Promoting Alternative Thinking Strategies or PADS program in the Cleveland Municipal School System. Again, the intervention would specifically target learners in the fifth grade with underdeveloped executive function skills as identified by the Brief 2 program. PATHS involves 42 to 50 lessons throughout the school year. Teachers are trained to teach students on how to maintain self-control, recognize and manage their feelings, and problem solve. This program is directed at learners pre-K through sixth grade, so it's perfect timing for these guys. And a study of over 2,000 pre-K to fourth graders showed that PATHS improved academic performance, increased positive social behavior, reduced conduct problems, reduced emotional stress, and improved academic behaviors, which in turn improved the climate of the school and the social emotion and the child's social and emotional attitudes and skills. So the logic model for this program would be that our inputs would be the teachers, the staff, and their time. There would be some monetary um, input uh, for the school to purchase the brief to system and which would be the materials. The activities would be to train teachers and educate the learners. The output would be the number of teachers taught, the number of training sessions, the number of classes taught to students, the number of educational materials distributed because PATS is a program, and the number of learners served in total immediate outcomes. So the teachers would gain new skills to teach current students in a way that engages their executive function skills. The learners would gain the engagement of these new executive function skills. Intermediate outcomes, teachers gain new skills to teach all students, not just the ones that they are, that have executive function uh, under development. So in the long term, these teachers would be gaining skills that they would be able to apply across their learners, which is wonderful because it may be that eventually we don't have to assess with the brief to because we are seeing such a wonderful response from the students that are learning in the classrooms of the teachers who have been trained in these methodologies. That is both intermediate and long-term outcomes for teachers. Um, students will use the new knowledge to engage their skills. They'll, they'll, engage, they'll be engaged. Um, and that would lead to an improvement of grades in middle school by an average of at least 15%. Um, and that would be grades six through eight. And decrease in behavioral issues in middle school by an average of at least 15%. So we're looking at across these kids, we can look back and see what their uh, grades were in second, third, and fourth grade. And, and we can see what 
their behavioral issues were in second, third, and fourth grade. And then we can track um, the number of behavioral issues after the program and how their grades have improved after the program. Um, and then also we're looking at long-term outcomes of really continued long-term educational and social emotional success in high school and beyond. And we can track that using timely high school graduation information and college attendance. And I'm sure we could come up with a couple other ways that we can show that this is a really great program. And with that, I would be happy to take your questions and talk to you a little bit more about how this program would work. I've got some references here as well. There is literature out there that really does support engaging children and students with underdeveloped executive function skills and intervening in a way that would allow them to be more successful than if that was not addressed at this point in time. Thank you for your time.